Welcome back to the Silo Podcast. I'm Austin. I'm a co-founder of Silo and your host for the Silo Podcast. I'm so excited to get into today's episode where we do the similar thing that we did for Spring Cap, where I took some of my thoughts before the events happened and then also splice in a video of me recording a podcast after the event and just compare what my expectations were, what some of your experiences are. But before I get into this, I also wanted to say thank you for everyone that has left a review, a comment, or anything like that on the most recent podcast. It's been awesome and we're gearing up for season five. So if you haven't already, it helps us a bunch getting our name in the recommended feeds of all of those platforms on Spotify, Apple, and on YouTube. Go ahead and do that. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter the pre-cap and post-cap where we keep you guys up to date on all that's happening in silo news. You get monthly inspiration from us on all the things that we do during the events. You get to have the links early to drop your photos from the events in there and then also get to know about events fairly early on. So uh, join. It'd be awesome for you to be there. Uh, and it's just a great way to stay connected in between events. Now let's get into this episode. So summer cap part two. We didn't do a podcast in Summer ca Capture Part 1, but um, it was a blast, man. But this is the Temple one. We're so excited. This is the one at Sam Lewis that everyone dreams about every year and what I dream about every single day when thinking about Silo. Uh, as of right now, it's Friday, August 9th at 1 p.m. So we're like 28 hours away from what's actually happening. And I just kind of wanted to go through what's going through my head as a precap. And hopefully you guys find this interesting. Um, as to what goes into event scheduling and uh, everything that's involved with that. I know we've done a lot of like behind the curtain stuff. Um, so I just want to continue to be transparent as some of that stuff is going to uh, just be helpful for you as you continue to figure out how you play into your creative community, how you become a more creative individual um, and stuff like that. Um, I think just me, it's all about trying to be more consistent on video stuff. Uh, I don't like seeing my face on stuff as an introvert, but I know if I want to continue to uh, bring new people into the community that I have to kind of post up and uh, and and be a face. And, and Silo is not about me. It's not about Gavin. It's not about anything like that. It's about the movement and the intention behind it. Um, but Part of that is just being a face of a, of a movement so that there are people that uh, are able to say, this is the North Star that we're all heading towards. Um, and I'm along on this journey with you as I'm trying to figure out what it means for me to be a creative, be part of a community uh, and everything along the way. And, and honestly, I've been, there have been a lot of new things and sorry for my chair creaking. That's uh, just going to be part of this episode. Um, but I, it's so cool to be a part of that and and for me to realize new things every time even though you might see them as copy and paste oh it should be really easy to put together um i think the challenge for me is always like how can i make it different or 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 feel new whether or not it comes across that way who knows but um there's a whole team of people now and um and longtime supporters that i just have to thank for what these events have turned into and why they can continue for the last three years, I guess, at this point, summer or fall cap, uh, like 21 or 22 being the first one ever. We had like 20 people and now uh, hoping to expect upwards of 100 people for this next one tomorrow. Uh, I know I was super blown away with spring cap. Um, I was like, ah, 60. Totally. That's that's uh, that's a very safe number for me to say. And then you guys showed up and showed out at just under a hundred. So um, I want to keep like safe expectations for myself, um, but also knowing the power of connection and community can like blow that out of the water. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited. I know summer captures are like the one to be at. So um, I, my nerves are actually way down for this one and um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but I, I wanted to, to shout out a few people and you're going to hear this um, in the speech that you, I guess you've already heard if you've attended, um, but all, all the people that I, I just need to like make sure that they're credited for what it, I'm going to say in quotes for those audio listeners are my like part of my success in quotes. Um, 
and and that's just being my beautiful wife katie her support through all of like basically our entire relationship has been as long as silo has run um and to see her just continually like grow into like wanting to contribute more wanting to to love on the people at the events and also her like exploring herself in a creative way um, as a painter um, and also now as a community builder, what that looks like. Um, it's just been super cool for her to be a part uh, and and I wouldn't have been able to do this without her encouragement and, and love um, to persist. So uh, she's the engine that, that keeps me, uh, she, she keeps my engine fueled of, of what's possible and, and picks me up when I'm down on a lot of that stuff. And, and, going into that is is the silo team who gets to know <laughs> on a weekly basis if i'm like feeling good about something or feeling bad about something and i know recently uh i just been in my head a lot and and i think that comes with some great realizations that help me come out of it um but then also they get to be real and and uh and it's a part of what i'm trying to open up to you guys so that you guys don't see all the marketing of me just being happy running around in fields because that's not fair that's not life that's not a reflection of the full human experience and so uh, part of one, some of the values that the silo team is uh, like trying to build out uh, is just like being authentic in that way but yeah i wanted to shout out uh michaela fitch helen taffisa chris williams they've been like taking on some major responsibilities, helping me build out some of these systems and processes that make a difference. All of them have been instrumental to figuring out what it means to be Silo. What does it mean to collaborate with Silo or to partner with Silo or any any number of things. Building out some of those like definitions for people that we work with um, and, and overall just building the business back end side of silo which has been super exciting and they've been putting in hours and hours of work and i it's not a one-man approach to this and it never was but um as gavin has stepped away i've definitely needed help and and they've stepped up they've stepped up to like the occasion um to to really just put in the hours to help realize some of our goals and, and they've been on board with those goals for years now. Um, so it's been really cool uh, to find people with similar vision um, to help make these events happen, to build out cultural moments, to build out what does silo content look like? We don't use the word content, we use the word lemons. Uh, that's early pod vibe. If you haven't, you should go look and listen to the old podcast because it's got hard got tough um so shout out those people man like they have poured an indescribable amount of work into what silo is today uh just starting this year um, and, and i hope you've noticed that and, and you've seen a a similar old flavor but new flavor added into each event um and, and that's been so helpful so so helpful i can't give them enough credit for that and then also just like a community win on top of this all is having uh, Kiri starting to do his own photo walks and pop-up event events. Like, shout out to you, man. You're killing it. We haven't talked much about it yet, and I hope we can talk uh, on Saturday about it. But he's just had such great success bringing people together. And um, obviously, we're about community over competition. So like him doing his own thing is not competition. It is adding to the arts of, of York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, and just the South Central area of PA anyway, um, where he's, you know, to keep that consistency, sometimes people want more than just the quarterly events that we put, put up. And uh, he's fulfilling that need that, that people have been wanting. Um, and I just see him thriving. And as he continues to do this, I think um, he might have one coming up right after this cap. And um, I hope to come back maybe with some more info that I can tell you guys about the, about this on the podcast um, to get more involved and, and ad, advocate for for his groups that are going out because uh, it's it's truly something special and he has an educational wing of it too of of just being awesome. So shout out you, Kira. I remember when you first came to a um, a slam. You're really quiet. You're still in school and like 
he just was there. Like it, you don't, that's part of what silo is. Like you just have to show up to fully understand what, what's happening, what, what we're about. Um, it's never going to be communicated well, at least, at least from me, um, what, what we do, um, still figuring that out in my own head on how to communicate that properly. And that's part of me just putting the reps in a creative journey of how do I do this? How do I talk to a camera? I'm looking you right in the eyes, hopefully, uh, for you video listeners. Uh, and this is weird for me as my com camera, er, as my computer just turns to black. So we're going to keep that going. Um, but I have notes over here to help me get along. And that's part of what this is going to look like. Um, but that they've been amazing. And Kiri just can't stop like sharing these wins. So if you've got a win, put it in the Spotify comments. It's a fun new feature. I'd love to amplify your voice on what that looks like. Um, another fun community that I've been seeing growth in, which is kind of cool. Uh, and I haven't gotten really to know them super well. Uh, is Lancaster Art uh, Lancaster Art Network, and they've been super cool, being putting on like pop up events for vendors, more handcrafted kind of stuff, um, and so they do a lot. I know they have a fall like kind of uh, October holly holiday themed uh, event coming up, so I, I would encourage you guys to go to that. Um, There's just a lot of wins happening in the in the area, and I want to support where I can. So yeah. Summer capture, dude, it's gonna be insane. Like like I said earlier, I really don't have doubts about this one, which is weird uh, because I don't know. I feel like I always get like the 24 hour jitters. Like I'm like, oh, is this gonna go well? Is this, is this going to be crazy? Uh, do I have my act together? Um, I think as I just keep settling into um, more of my calling, more of my passion. I'm realizing that it doesn't matter. Like, I think you just, you know, care less and less the more that you, you do something because you become more confident in it. And so I see that in myself, um, in, in my community building, and I don't want to be complacent uh, or stagnant in that. Um, but I'm, I'm still gonna be nervous when I get up on a table probably tomorrow. Um, and I have 80 to 100 faces staring straight at me and I'm like, oh, I didn't come prepared and I never will come prepared because that's that might be just less than I want. So um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to just highlight more and more wins during that time. Um, we also have, which is really cool, uh, a sponsor for this event um, and also a partner. Um, our partner is Revolt Style Studio, super cool. Jess, we love Jess. She's styled for us before for a summer capture. Um, but just having her like help take a wing of of what we're doing and style our featured models um, is going to be so cool. Love doing that because it adds just another flair to make every event different. Um, and, and seeing her continue to live out what she wants to do as well. Um, she talked to us and, and was like, yeah, I want to live into like my expert era uh, where she has used or will use all the knowledge that she's get, got like experienced and, and grown over the years um, to help style models for shoots and like do it on a more consulting level. Um, so it's super cool to have her and be able to empower her to do that, but then also hopefully have her get some clients uh, from the experience that she's had from from this event um, as this is of a, tri a trial run for her um, i'm really excited for that i think jess is super cool and and what she's doing for the vintage space is unreal and i i want to keep that that sector of creativity alive and i think <laughs> it's funny I, I feel like a lot on silo's feed is like these vintage sellers um so i want to keep empowering them just like uh, ramshackle was last time at a spring cap uh, Revolt's just been awesome in New York. Um, and as we continue to do different things in different places, I I'd love to have just more racks of clothes for people to, to be able to tap into at the event and make their own um, because creativity is all about expression. And what is expression without the individual choice? Um, so super cool to have her. We also have the sponsor, um, 
of York Art Association. So I've been talking to Roth for a while now uh, and it's just been super cool to get to know what they're up to, what that community is doing uh, and to bring a, a more uh, youthful side to, to what they do and the classes that they offer and the professionals that they have access to. Um, getting you guys plugged in with some of their stuff is just unreal. Um, and to also have a sponsor is a huge step for Silo in general uh, and something we're gonna keep pushing uh, because I don't want to ever have you guys pay for something that was free. So like these caps will, will be free for the foreseeable future. Uh, and, and we wanna do that through support from outside entities where they get a minute to talk about their space or time to hand out their business cards during events uh, on a more like ad-based kind of feel um, rather than anything else that we could do. Um, and I think there are opportunities down the road for us to be charging for the events we did where the Wild Things Girl last year, which is awesome and a huge success. Um, but this this year has been packed with free stuff and I'm really looking forward to what we have next. I'm not gonna plug that until the end. So if you wanna stay around till the very end, I've got some stuff about next year or this late fall, what uh, what that might look like. Um, you guys probably already seen it on our stories potentially, but it's really exciting. And I, I'm really excited because it's, it talks to the depth side of things. It talks to not reaching the 3000 people that we have uh, as followers right now, but more as, hey, like 10 or 15 of us can go super deep together um, and learn a lot. And I'm just looking forward to those kind of moments. Other side of summer cap, man, I just hope to be stoked by the turnout, by the impact people have had on each other, um, by uh, Megan and Alana, who will be our featured photographers. I just can't wait for them to shine. Um, hopefully teach uh, some people some things. They're both amazing wedding photographers. So I just know they're gonna come with some really sick skills and, and unique angles and perspectives on things that that uh, I have not been able to tap into myself. Um, and that's why I chose these people. Like I've worked with Alana three or four times at this point, just the most genuine, down to earth, amazing human ever. Uh, I've yet to meet Megan, but I've just heard from so many of her friends, so many of the, the wedding industry in Lancaster that she's insane. We've been talking about doing stuff and collaborating for a while now and thought this would be the perfect opportunity to get two kind of wedding uh, photographers in there. Uh, I think they both shoot film sometimes, so maybe they'll shoot some film with us um, and just see what they have to offer. And I I'm really excited how open I just leave these invites. Um, but knowing that they're gonna bring their all and and their unique flavor to it just makes me so excited for what's about to happen. And I'm really looking forward just to to chatting with people. Um, I, I don't think I usually say that. I think as you've heard 17,000 times from me, I'm an introvert, uh, but you guys have really become like a family. Uh, to me, some like really close friends that just have come out of seeing you guys and you know we, sometimes we meet outside of just the normal events to catch up and and keep up with what we're, we're we're all doing and yeah it's like seeing friends when i go now it's not this daunting task um i just know that i'm going to make new friends tomorrow too which is always the coolest part uh as you can tell i've got many favorite parts many coolest parts but there's nothing like what happens at a capture seriously like there's just nothing that i can relate it's it's both networking but also so much deeper than that because you guys are on a mission together to make awesome art and to build your portfolios and even if it's not about portfolio work it's maybe about getting yourself a headshot because you've got a new job lined up in the next month or hey, I've been struggling a lot and I need like a self-love kind of session with someone that I've been dying to work with that I've that I've known. And uh, just making those internet relationships like tangible. So many times you can cheer each other on from 17 miles away or 50 miles away or 100 miles away. And that's all it is. And I think what makes Silo special is, is that 
that distance between the two of us have and will be compressed down to nothing and you can talk and connect with so many people that you look up to or uh, people that are fans of you. Um, it's just an open space for that to happen in a safe way, no matter who you are, no matter what you do. Um, there's something for everyone at a, at a capture. And did I know that going into making fall capture 21 or 22? No, I had no, I, I had no idea what this would turn into. And um, for now to be a group of friends that hang out and, and are accepting of new people and welcome new people like like they're just been there forever. Um, it's just been so unreal. And when I go on Instagram on, on the silo account, even my personal account, I just like get to see someone post something that, that they're super proud of. And then people that they met at the events cheer them on. And, and so I know that like that isn't an internet relationship anymore. And it might be until the next silo event, but hopefully they like connect and get coffee or go edit together or go shoot together on the side to like here he's doing. Um, just knowing that I don't even know what the impact is and the depth of which is happening after these events. Like I already feel an immense like weight once I'm there in the best way possible of like something's going to happen today. Some movement is going to start. Um, I just know that I'm, I'll never understand it. And it's honestly better that way that, that I am just able to be removed from the scenario and know that you guys are doing it on your own. Like you, like it's a launching point for people. Um, and I, I'm finding new wording for it every time that we go to a capture. And I think that's something really special that I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I think I've talked about this before, but like, a summer capture two years ago didn't have a theme at all was just like hey summer capture back at sam lewis let's do this thing um and at the end of the night you belong was the theme it was the sentence that was said between so many different people um and and made it into some people's posts too about like summer capture you belong and i'm like i didn't I didn't like even think to send it in, in a direction at all. Um, but the fact that like so much activity bubbles up that like it makes it its own theme, like that inspires me, man. It inspires me that like people are open enough to take it into their own hands, make it something that, that it wasn't before, innovate on something that was just normal. Um, and and nothing special um and and just turn it into something extraordinary dude that fires me up and that just like creativity like just continues to cycle into more creativity so as you inspire someone else they inspire another person and it just keeps going down the line and as long as you love other people the way that you want to be loved you will like it'll just be a wildfire taking over uh, not literally, but taking over the hill of just like, dude, love just keeps breeding love. So just keep it going uh, and pass it on to the next person. Um, man, it's just something that happens. And I love every moment of it because I don't know what the impact is. And and I get people that, that come up to me and, you know, say, hey, great event. Loved it. Think it went really well. I'm like, dude, thank you so much. Uh, you guys did that you guys made that that way um I, yeah it, it starts and ends with you guys like it's just it just keeps going and i can't be more thankful uh for for anything other than you guys just doing the hard work of it all like silo is nothing without you guys so in the end i, I just want you guys to feel a few things when you go to cap. I want you to feel accepted. I want you to feel loved. I want this to feel like a warm spot where if you show up late, someone's going to say, Hey, I've got a group of people going this way. Let's come hang out with us. Um, if, if silo and these events can feel like a family reunion, um, every time we meet, that's, that's all that matters. And any new individual that becomes a part of the family, um, 
just feels welcomed, feels loved, uh, feels inspired, feels at home, feels like they fit in. Um, even when the society or the world says that you can't fit in or you don't belong here, um, you do you do belong in silo. If, if you have a weird way of going about knitting, you're like, welcome here. It's, that's what it's about. I never know how to prepare for a capture other than just hyping people up and, and figuring out ways to get people excited about stuff. And, uh, and, and so I'm just so hyped for, for what's coming. I hope people really get into magnify. I know it's both a broad and super specific theme for this event. Um, Michaela has some really cool prompt cards that we're going to hand out. Um, and, and hopefully that sparks some interest. Something I'm, I'm interested to hear you guys' uh, perspective on this, but for Summer Cap Part 1, we handed out like little slivers of, of compliments, encouragements that you're supposed to like hand out to other people. And a lot of that didn't land the way that we thought it was. So this is like inside baseball at this point. But I'm just curious like how we can improve that or where can we put that like connect with another human part like before we spread out into the big field and 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 everything like is there a way that we can have that like moment where you meet someone and you say hey you're awesome or hey i look up to you this is super cool that you're here um if there's a better place we can put that in like the timing of the night um we're hoping that these like prompt cards will help instead of just like a compliment that you're one-on-one -on -one talking. It's like a, both a compliment, but then also a way to implement what magnify could mean in your photo, in your video, in your outfit, um, as you choose. So we're really interested in, in how that'll work. Cause I think we're just trying to figure out new ways to intentionally bring people together. And that happens a bunch, obviously by itself. Um, but for, for those, people just to continue to feel loved in a way that like it gets my introvert self to go up to someone I looked up to for a while uh like Chad and like just be like yo dude you're awesome and I would never have done this or never had had a way to describe how I feel without this card and, and that pushes people out of their comfort zone maybe to do that um so we're looking forward to seeing what that looks like and um and then also just trying to just continue to streamline. Um, I know I wait sometimes too long to send people out. Um, at, at Actually, the last one, I sent people out so late that they had maybe a half hour before the rain came. Uh, luckily for this one, fingers crossed, knock on wood. We don't have any rain in the schedule for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this, this half as short as possible i'm probably already like 30 minutes in um in hopes that i have a lot to say uh, coming up so yeah i'm just really looking forward to to tomorrow i know it's going to go well um, but this is past austin and you're going to hear both past and second past austin um here in the next few weeks uh when this podcast gets released i'll see you soon and see what future austin has to say and just like that, we're back. Summer capture happened, summer capture went, and now we're here. Now we're in the aftermath. We're living in the the glow, the shimmer, the shine of what happened, the joy, uh, the the complex emotions that we might feel afterwards. Uh, and I'm super excited to share that with you guys. So past Austin uh, got a lot right. Um, he got a lot, you know, you know, he was predicting a lot. So uh, let's get in the second half. Man, that was just so good. Like, I am never one that has words to fully describe, like, what happened at, at these events. And uh, this was just another example of, like, I have no words for, for what went down. It was so beautiful. Uh, the, the, I think the key takeaway was that the sky is just, like, opened up and and it was beautiful sunny uh perfect weather for hanging out with all of the, all of your best friends um mid to 
to low 80s. Sun was out. Clouds were in the sky a little bit. Towards the end, we got the most beautiful sunset, uh, the most beautiful just experience overall. We had the best sponsors. Um, York Art Association, Roth was there. Uh, he's just amazing. Uh, I'm so glad that you guys got to meet him, interact with him. He got to show you guys a little bit more about what he was about, what his organization is about, and how you guys can get connected in other ways in between the captures. Because I think that's one of the biggest things that I notice is that, you know, you can come out to these large temple events, but if you don't come to, to what happens in between them, you actually do miss out on a lot. And community isn't just four to six times a year. It's, it's a weekly check-in. It's a, it's a friend that holds you accountable. It's a shoot that happens whether you like it or not to continue to get your art to more people. Um, having revolt there was just unreal. Jess just kills it every time. And I love that she gave direction to people, helped models pose in ways that accentuated the clothing that they were wearing. Uh, it got people out of their comfort zones a little bit with what they were doing in the best way possible and just continued to push forward the art scene. And our featured models were insane. Like you're just going to hear the same words out of my mouth for, for everything we talk about. And that's just cause that's what it was. It was truly something special. Um, having featured, uh, you know, people back is it really helps the, the, the pace of it all. Um, shout out our word of the year. Maybe we should do a podcast on that actually. Um, but a lot of that, like having people as like the headliners really help bring people together. Uh, there's a lot of people that are fans of the people that get featured. So they come out to help, uh, you know, meet these people, uh, support them in any way possible. And so I love to see Ashley. I love to see Tori. I've been trying to get these people to come out for, uh, for a while now and to see, uh, uh, just Gia and, uh, Pelissa and, ah, oh, so beautiful. So killing it. I just, yeah. Wow. Um, and to have Alana and Megan come as feature photographers were amazing. They definitely were on top of, uh, Julianne photography who came, uh, fully decked out in the most awesome, uh, set of clothing, uh, that matched her partner, her husband. Um, and that whole like couples session went so well with the featured photographers. If you haven't seen those yet, check them out in our, uh, feed on Instagram. It's just unreal. If you guys haven't checked out the Google photos link, that'll be linked in this bio, uh, in this description, actually, uh, it's a great way to see what happened if you missed out. And obviously we'll be posting a lot more. Um, but so much between me, uh, giving, you know, a little introductory speech and in inviting new people to raise their hands and, um, and, uh, returning people to raise their hands. It was a good 50, 50 again, which I think is a sign of health. I think it's a sign of, Hey, not every person from silos past can make it out to everyone. So you're not going to see a constant growth. You're not going to see a constant, uh, push upwards in numbers. But, uh, if you're getting new people, it, it means the word is spreading. And so I think the more new people I see, the, the healthier, I think silo continues to be. Um, speaking of numbers, not that they matter very much, uh, or are a good metric of how to judge, you know, success, but we hit, uh, roughly 85 to 90 people showing up for this one, which is so, uh, that's another like healthy sign for me when that number can continue to, to stay at an average right there. It's just, it, I mean, selfishly, it's, it's very rewarding to, to be able to bring that many people out of online and into a real person gathering. Um, there's impact there, but then also, uh, just in general, like 85 people is 85 people that get to meet new people, meet new friends. Um, it was actually kind of funny. We had a, a group of, uh, like barbecuer guys 
that were sticking around during the event or before the event. And we're like, hey, um, totally got, I want you guys to stay. And they, they even came up to us and we're like, hey, do you want us to move? And we're like, no, dude, as long as you're okay, we're gonna have a, 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 a group of people come in and hang out. As long as you're okay with, with that, then yeah, we're, we're good. And um, they ended up fitting right in. They were a bunch of young guys and girls uh, hanging out with us. They, they were having a ball on their own, uh, you know, at a park, you gotta have fun at a pavilion. And so we ended up having fun with them. They loved seeing what was going on surrounding them as like one of like 12 tables at, at this point. Um, and they even got some of their photos done to uh, shout out you guys for showing up and uh, getting in our group photo, getting photos of yourselves. And I know there was a couple there and a bodybuilder guy um, that really you know, opened up and, and were willing to hang with, hang out with us. So that was actually pretty cool uh, to see that moment happen. It's not something that I was expecting. I was actually kind of nervous. Uh, Katie asked me, she's like, did you like reserve the pavilion? Uh, and I was like, oh no, I haven't in the years past. So I, I trust that it'll be open from four to 9 p.m. on a Saturday, which is not... Uh, actually that likely i feel like a lot i feel like a lot of people would be at those hours for like a birthday party or something uh so we pulled up and we saw you know eight people at the at the pavilion i'm like oh, okay 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 we gotta we're gonna go over there set some waters down see like scope it out a little bit we set our waters down we went back to the car for like my camera gear and they were super chill like they wanted to hang uh and talk um, no big deal at all. I, I was just second guessing everything. I was like, okay, do we have to move into the woods where there are some more, uh, benches and stuff like that for everyone. But luckily we didn't have to do that. And everyone was super welcoming at the pavilion. Um, ended up being, you know, even a larger gathering now that, that they were there. And I loved that they were such good spirits about it because they actually had a lot of fun too. And it was awesome to see them. Uh, interacting with, with you guys with uh with community members uh but other than that man like it was just so good uh i every time like i know that i'm going to like be burnt out of social energy by the end of the night and i think i just am building a tolerance to it maybe i'm every episode i feel like i talk about how i'm an introvert but like i imagine i was gonna come away super drained and while I was like physically tired, I was like emotionally fulfilled um, and all of the best things happen. I mean, I wasn't sweaty at the, the end of the night, which is like one of the biggest things about summer captures, I feel like, is that you're just like, oh, yep, I'm going to be drenched in sweat or I'm going to be drenched in rain. And neither of those happened. I think everyone would just like, it was the perfect night to like just chill out with friends. And it felt like you could like, go to a campfire or like a bonfire after this and sit around the, the fire and, and tell stories to your friends about everything that happened and, and who you met and why it was important that you met up with this feature photographer or shot with this model. Um, just continuing to see businesses. Uh, I know, I think Calico Studios came out and she shot some of her um, clothing on on models. And I, I met a at just in numerous amounts of new people. And it is so cool to see your faces and uh, s and hear how much you liked the event afterwards. Uh, loved seeing Lydia from Grounding. Uh, Grounding has been a client of mine for a while uh, and she's a barista and she brought her dog and it was so cool to hear about everything that uh, she's been doing in, in the art scene. And um, yeah, it was just awesome to see like different sections of the world come together. Um, and that's what this whole thing is. I mean, it's all about bringing people together and, and people can say that that doesn't happen or I'm too nervous. And um, one of the, the chats that I've been having with some of the featured models on this is, is this like, is there a happy medium between super structured where introverts like can get put in groups um, because they don't feel comfortable doing it themselves or is it like so free flowing kind of how it is right now where introverts have to put in the work or they don't get, 
you know, results or gets to shoot with the people that they want to. Um, and I sent a voice memo to them and, and it's just really cool. The, the dynamic of how, how many different opinions there were. Uh, but we all agreed that like, it, it's all for the betterment of the community. So whatever, uh, we think is best is, is what we got to go with. Um, and I sent a voice memo over to them. I'm like, yo, all these points are awesome. I'm so glad that they felt comfortable, like sharing, first of all, because it's a, can be a very vulnerable thing to be like, Hey, I really didn't like this and I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or whatever, but this is how I felt. And so, yeah, I sent a voice memo just saying like, I, I feel like it's a little bit of projection from me as an introvert to say like, I know a lot of these people are anxious or, or nervous or introverted as well, just like me. Uh, so I always err on the side of, of, uh, committing to keeping it a little bit more open, freestyled, um, so that they can just rest in the fact that it's okay. Um, but then also uh, there is a push. And I think what I learned early on from like Gavin and the events that we put on early, it's like, I have to get out of my comfort zone to see results. And so I think some people might be turned off by like, oh, I actually do have to put in the social effort to meet new people. Um, but I would encourage them to look at it in a positive way of like, I need, I probably needed to break this, you know, barrier of my life down now, or like I needed, I needed to get it out eventually. So why not now, um, where it might benefit me the most. Um, so that's something that I learned from growing in silo. And, um, while it's not explicitly said at, at this event, which I, probably should have um it, it's probably something I'll, I'll bring up for like going forward of like yeah you you do have to you it takes courage to show up but then it also takes a courage and willpower to make the first step or first move to to meet someone new um and that's tough i understand that and you always can come up to me at the start of a cap and say hey i'm not really comfortable yet reaching out to people can you help find me someone to to work with and of course me helen chris michaela are all there to like serve you and get you where you need to be um during a cap so don't feel burdened or burnt like you're burning burdening us to bring people together because that's what the point of these events are and i want you to get the most out of it uh and to do that we need to be able to talk to people um that's something that a 22 year old me did not know at the time um, so that it's, it's a little bit of tough love, I think. Um, but I needed to hear that when I was that age and I needed to hear that when I was just starting out. So that's kind of the purpose behind that. And I think, man, I loved the models chat for bringing that up because that is so valuable. And I'm so glad that they saw all the sides of it because it was actually an extrovert that brought that up, uh, because she was seeing introverts not knowing what to do and it takes a level of like awareness that i'm glad that she brought out um it's been basically a week at this point um and, and i'm still living in all the dms and um people ask what, what have you been up to since capture i've been editing photos and i just posted them in the link and i'm so pumped to get this out and blah 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 and i've been living in I'm answering DMs and posting on our stories on all the stuff that you're posting for like an hour and a half each day at like minimum. Uh, <laughs> so I just got around to editing all my photos today and put them in the drive, um, in the Google photos, I think I should say. Um, but man, like I just can't get a smile off my face with what you guys made. Like the, the variance of what happens at Sam Lewis is one of my favorite parts. And I probably talked about this in the first half, but like, you get there, it's, you know, still pretty much like dead sunny summer weather, uh, really harsh shadows, probably like some raccoon kind of eyes because of the sun and, and, and stuff like that. Um, but as soon as like the sun just starts going down a little bit and once we start releasing people and it gets cooler out and uh, people get comfortable with each other, it just, just turns into like this most like magical environment and people go into the woods and we don't see them for an hour and a half. 
uh, and they come back with big smiles on their faces and a whole new group of friends and people go on expeditions down to the rocks and come back and we just see what they made on the back of their camera screens. And then we have the main group that kind of stays on the top of the hill and you just get to see one, the like beauty of the overlook and being over the river and it was just a perfect day to be on the top of the hill. But then also you get to see all of these people working together in this like semi-circle at the top of the hill. And I think we really impress people that show up to like just go on walks of the park uh, with how many people are just like finding their own space and going for it in different sections of the hill. Uh, and I'm just really proud of everyone for that. So um, yeah, if you haven't already, tune into the newsletter that's in the silo bio on Instagram. Um, if you're watching this from the recap, what's up? So glad that you decided to listen to the podcast and hear my thoughts. If there's anything you want me to go deeper on, I'd love to hear about it. Um, this episode is sponsored by the silo podcast. Uh, we have season five being recorded right now for the next month. If you are looking to be a sponsor of a few episodes, we have sponsorship tiers of three episodes, five episodes, and 10 episodes or the full season. So if you're into that stuff, we'd love to talk to you. We're looking at just new ways to help fund what we're doing and get more creativity uh, to you quicker and more often. So if you're looking forward to that, do that. Thank you for rating us on Spotify. Thank you for leaving a comment on YouTube and I will see you soon. Hopefully the season of the podcast will be out soon after you're listening to this and you will have just weekly updates on new interviews with amazing creatives from our area. I've got one down in the book so far as of when I was recording this and I've been piecing it together and it's just like, it's blowing my mind. What uh, what came out of this first guest's mouth and how much value you, you guys are going to get out of it. So looking forward to it until then. See you guys later.